Welcome back to Marketing Champions here on Daily Ad Brief. I'm Howard Walpuff, your host. We talk about marketing from around the country with great people who are involved in many aspects of marketing. Today, we're talking to Tyler Woodall of the Win Agency uh, out of South Carolina. So Tyler, welcome to the conversation today. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Uh, it is our pleasure, and we want to learn a little bit more about you. So your focus really is in the insurance business. So why don't you tell us how you got started right. there? Okay, so I started several years ago at another agency, um, and as I got going in insurance, really saw that most people I spoke with didn't understand their insurance. They took whatever policy that was recommended to them by their previous agent or whoever their family did business with, and they just took whatever minimums were recommended. Uh, so I finally got to the point where I decided I think there may be a better way. Um, separated off onto my own, and we try to take an educational approach to explaining a product that most people have and very few understand. Yes. Uh, basically, insurance is a very scary concept for a lot of people. You know you have to have it. You really don't understand how to uh, what, what it is, how much you should have, what you should be focusing on. So how are you marketing the right information to your prospects to get them to really at the very least have a consultation with you. Right. So it's very niche based. So we have different agents that focus on, say, for example, personal lines insurance would be home auto life insurance. So we have very specific targeting in our Facebook advertising so that we're bringing in clients that would be our target market. And for each different um, class that we're working with, we kind of have a plan for them. So we have pre-scripted out questions so that we can dive deep into, all right, what do you have totally? What is the full picture? And how do we create a plan to um, solve that? And then on the commercial side, a lot of it is very old school. It's phone calls, door-to-door -door drop ins on commercial business. And now we're really mixing in LinkedIn producing educational content, trying to give value, and bring inbound leads that way. So you really have dealt with a lot of the grassroots of marketing, especially on the door-to-door right. the -door and, the, and the phone calls, but also really embracing Facebook and getting that type of response from a, a targeted audience. So it really has, right. has been an education on all fronts on, on having to get your message out there. 100%. COVID changed things a lot. So prior to COVID, we were pretty much 100% going out face-to-face, -face, meeting with people, as well as referrals that came in. And so what we were doing, going and meeting with business owners, wasn't possible anymore. People weren't at their office, so we had to pivot. And everyone was scrolling through Facebook, so we just found a way to get in front of them, trying to create offers that were interesting enough that it was worth them putting in their phone number and from there tried to earn the opportunity to continue the conversation. How challenging did you find that? There's a lot of people who are really experts at Facebook marketing and a lot of people who I guess try and fail in, in, in getting a uh, return on their investments. Um, what was your uh, feelings going in and, and how uh, happy are you with the results at the moment? Right. So I was one of those stories. So I had started an online brand actually when I was in college and was selling hats, t-shirts, products like that through social media, had tried Facebook ads for quite a while, had tried marketing on Instagram um, with very mixed results. And so it was something I was skeptical of, but I knew that there was a huge opportunity and I knew that somebody was doing it successfully. So it finally took me reaching out to some professionals to kind of consult with me and help me to get our ads where they were at least starting to produce results. So at the moment, I'm happy with it. Um, I've not seen a whole lot of changes in our return due to a lot of Facebook's recent um changes, but we're constantly trying to tweak it and improve. It's something we're reviewing on a weekly basis, trying to figure out ways to get um, cost per lead down, but also trying to watch the metric of cost per customer 
because really that's the one that that matters customer acquisition cost well you've really gotten into full education and marketing over the course of uh, the pandemic and uh, the resources that you that you reached out to with regards to, to facebook advertising and it sounds like things are really on a good track for you so it's it's good that marketing has been a successful tool to grow your business and get your name out there. So we congratulate you and thank you so much for sharing your story with us today. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. And thank you all for joining us as well. It, it's really important to make sure that your message is getting out there, that you are really speaking to, uh, to an audience then and finding ways that they want to respond to you, telling the story that resonates to them. It seems that Tyler is doing that for his, uh, for the Win Agency, and uh, it's great that he's able to share this information. There's a lot more information available on Daily Ad Brief, but go out, have a great rest of today, and we'll see you next time on Marketing Champions.